As these fragments unite, a portal gives way to the world of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. There's more to battle than brandishing a weapon. There are many factors from enemy types to status effects that will force you to revise your tactics. Take this metal slime, for example. Not only is it immune to magic, its defense is so high that it will only receive one or two damage at a time. To account for this, you must devise a strategy that allows you to deal a critical hit or to deliver multiple hits at a time. In Dragon Quest, even weapons are imbued with magical properties that can inflict status effects. For instance, a Dream Blade can do as its name implies and put an enemy to sleep, leaving them open for attack. As veterans know, the player can also be put to sleep, paralyzed, or even killed. It's important to keep the right items on hand to cure these troublesome ailments. Yes, even death can be cured by an Yggdrasil leaf. Magical aid can also be found in accessories like prayer rings, which have the ability to recover magic points. Knowing when to use rare commodities like MP restoration is an important part of your strategy. Another resource at your disposal is the Haven. We'll take a look at that and much more about Dragon Quest VII as we approach the game's launch on September 16th.